I need to say welcome to Canvas, the new software we're using, classroom management software we're using for the class. At least it's new to me. You may be familiar, I'm not sure. But because this is my first time teaching in Canvas, there may be some awkwardness, so I just ask you to be patient with me. And please feel free to let me know if I have missed something, and I will rush and correct it as soon as possible. You are about to get started in this class, <coughs> and you may have already noticed there is an initial assignment, and we're just getting started. And that assignment is how I, what I think about my race. And that's a little volatile um, thing to be talking about right away, but it's also a very important thing to be talking about. Most societies organize themselves first by gender, what males should do, what females should do, and the very next thing tends to be, I'll call it race, but really, really, the society is organized by how people look. And you know, if you're talking about race in the United States, that's kind of the way we do it. Because if you're talking about biology, that's a whole different thing. And we don't really look at biology. We actually look at what we see about people and how, they, how we think they behave, and then judge on that or make our decisions based on that. So that's the first thing you need to do. A little bit sensitive. And why did I ask you to do that? Well, there are several reasons. One is because is actually a good way to get to know each other. When you write this, your entire class will be able to see it and they'll be able to respond to it. And by the way, feel free to make any comment you would like uh, about anybody else's posting and of course, post your own. Now, you are free to answer this question in the best way you can and you'll see I have quite a few questions here. And I realize that since you have not taken the course, you may not be as informed now as you will be later toward the end of the class but that's all right everybody's in the same boat just don't be deliberately mean or cruel um, or pejorative about someone else's culture or their race you don't want to do that we are academics and we're here to study and learn and be able to talk about things even if they're difficult to talk about if you and i can't find the right words and the right phrasing to do that hoping to bring more people together than to pull them apart, then if we can't do it, then other people in our society can't do it either because they're not even in an academic setting where they are constantly learning new ways to think about things, new ways to do things, new ways to talk about things. So I ask you to keep that in mind as you go about it. Also, as you navigate through this, be sure that you get a good look at our syllabus and that you read it and know for sure what is due when. I would say that those are important things, right? Okay, you want to know that. You also want to know about the grading policies. And mine are pretty simple. I grade everything on points. And once you get a certain number of points, you get a certain grade. If you want an A, and I imagine most of you do, if you want an A, all you have to do in this class to get that A is accumulate 800 points. You get 800 points, A. Pretty nice, huh? <laughs> so check out the syllabus and the first page of our class. It will explain all those things to you. Next thing, I opened up all of the assignments at the same time. That means you can work ahead as much as you want. I like that. You know, you can go early. You don't have to worry about things being late. If you do some assignments and you turn them in past the due date, it is highly likely you will not get those points. I want to point that out right now. But if you do it early, there's no penalty. Go for it and do what you want. Now, here's the thing. You need to juggle between two systems. You're going to be in Canvas and all of your assignments, that is your quizzes, will be in Canvas. However, online elect electronic book and save yourself some money. But if you are one of those people who really likes to have the feel of the book in your hands, you can buy the book too. You can get it from the bookstore or from Pearson and you can use them both. I'm one of those people who like that feel and touch. So I do understand that situation. Okay. 
And that's about it. We'll get started on this class. Welcome to the class. Enjoy yourself. This is a fun class. You're going to learn so many fun things and so many interesting things that have a lot to do with the way we're living in our society and what we're doing right this minute. And you have to admit, right now, we are in interesting times. I think that's an old Irish curse. May you live in interesting times. I think that this year we know why it's a curse and not a blessing, but nevertheless, I think you're going to learn a lot about it and also get an opportunity to assess your living environment, your soci your uh, so societal, excuse me, your societal environment based on some of the things you learn in this class. Welcome aboard.